I can see crawling now, it just looks wrong Sadly there's no obstacles in my way Whoever built this town must have been blind I'm having an eye, eye, 360 day Having an eye, eye, 360 day I think I can make it now by turning round I can see you west where thing is over here Is the view that I was paying for I'm having an eye, eye 360 day Having an eye, eye 360 day Having an eye, eye 360 day Herd immunity. The Chancellor of the Exchequer here to see you, Prime Minister. Oh, uh, righty ho, Chlamydia. I, I, I'll just do the incantation. It's terrific. It's, uh, washy wishy, let's get wishy. I do wish you wouldn't do that, PM. Why can't I use the door like everyone else? Ah, uh, uh, no, uh, my, my magic little pixie. This is a uh, much I keep more telling fun. You, Boris. I'm not a pixie or a teeny or a wizard. I'm an accountant. Uh, yes, uh, but dash it all, Rishi, you, you have the magic money tree. That's how we managed to pay all the furloughed workers. The massive grants to industry, the theatre, Southern Rail, Uncle Tom Cobley and all the other riffraff. For Christ's sake, Boris, it's not a magic money tree. It's a ledger. We put all our expenses on one side of the ledger and all the income on the other side. And at the end of the financial year, we conduct a budget. <laughs> Oh, sorry. See, I, those I told you I was the accountant. <coughs> oh, my God. Then all that coddlings you've been prattling on about, like balance sheets, accrued accounts, cash flow and depreciation, those things are real? Yes. So an accounting cycle isn't the same thing as a Boris bike? No, Prime Minister. Oh. I think you're only now beginning to grasp the gravity of our financial predicament. Look, this is your fault. You've let our money disappear quicker than a stripper's dignity and a vegetarian stag do. Prime Minister? You know, all those cucumbers. Now, what can we do about the economy? How are we going to recoup all the dosh you've doled out? Hmm? Well, we do have some options. For instance, we could raise taxes. How much? Well, according to my calculations, it could be up to 85. 85 pence in the pint. The great unwashed will never accept that. No, no. that's actually 85 pounds in the pound. Oh. For every pound people earn, they'll give us 86, plus fat. Well, what else have you got? We can raise the pension age a bit. How much is a bit? To 165. Oh, my goodness, we're deader than scoop neck t shirts. There is another option, PM. I've been toying with the idea of offering people early death. Early death? Yes. It has some fantastic tax breaks in it and multiple pension options. A lot of people have already expressed an interest in taking it up. Uh, who in their right mind would want to take early death? Mainly Liberal Democrats. They seem to think it would be a better use of their time. Well, well done, Rishi. I'll I leave it with you. I, I knew my magic pixie wouldn't let me die. Yes, Master. <clears throat> Prime Minister? <clears throat> yes? Have you got another magic lamp down there? Ah, uh, maybe. One small sin for man, one giant week for mankind.
Good evening. This is The Treason Show with me, Mark Brailsford. I want to say thanks personally for watching the show so far. And I also want to say to our regular fans, you probably not used to be doing this. As you know, I don't normally directly address the audience as me. However, there are some occasions that defy sketch and song parody writing. It's called real life. Now, of course, we don't want the treason show or satire to die of coronavirus, but it is an uphill battle when things like this happen. <laughs> That's right, Kanye West has declared his intention to run to become President of the United States. You could argue that satire is, once again, dead. So what a shame that Kanye West has since withdrawn his candidacy, as it was merely a publicity stunt for his new album. And why not? But since we seem to be aping the United States in everything, from having a blonde nationalist womanising sociopath as its leader, to a baffling array of cancel culture wars, we could always find a place for Kanye West to run for office here in the UK. After all, what's not to love about a man whose name sounds like a Blue Wall constituency? Picture the election night coverage. Yep, and uh, we've got the uh, result coming in now from Kanye West, and he's lost it. <laughs> Boris Johnson has suggested that Parliament could move to the city of York. This is while the Palace of Westminster undergoes renovation. Now, the Prime Minister said the northern city would make perfect sense, as Bernard Castle is less than 60 miles away, so his cabinet team could all take regular eye tests. And you know what they say about people who need regular eye tests. That's right, they become VAR referees, which probably wasn't what you were thinking. In the High Court, Hollywood star Johnny Depp has been suing the son for damages. They've accused him of abusing his wife, Amber Heard. When asked why he was pressing the case in the UK courts, Johnny Depp replied he thought it was the only country left in the world with a policy of herd immunity. In testimony to the court, he said he's a reformed character now, forsaking the drugs and booze of his hell-raising past, in exchange for meditation and exercise, saying he's a much better person now that he's taken up Pilates of the Caribbean. Oh, and finally, uh, our last item, uh, the Treason Show would like to pass on its condolences to the Maxwell family for the sad passing of Ghislaine Maxwell. Oh, nope, sorry, that's in two weeks' time. Oh, whoops. Night night. So you think you're gonna fly down to Espana? A cute cabana or hotel room for two? But if you're English then you surely must be joking If you think the Spanish want to welcome you The UK Covid's number's worse than Spain You think we want you here, well think again We'll freak out if you fly to sunny Spain With fever Espana we don't want the virus back again From you in Espana You fancy a holiday in Spain Have you been on the Ganja? If the virus kicks off once again You might just start a war Gibraltar is ours, you know Our Spanish acted fast with early lockdown We knew just what we had to do Full PPE and money for our people We learned from when we had the Spanish flu We flattened our coronavirus curve The English we would really rather swerve If you think we want you down in Spain Then you must be crackers English tourists are a pain Divert to Caracas Wave your fancy passport made in blue then cough up more smackers Farage, we will put the blame on you Then say UKFU We're in the middle of an awful epidemic It's academic, so all aboard the plane You're sending all your lurgy loaded tourists It's madness, have you all gone insane? If Brexit wasn't mad enough before don't blame us if we lock your hotel door Our hour rate has fallen through the floor With top trace and trackers 
We pay our healthcare workers more All you had was clappers If you come, you'll be put in quarantine Got you by the knackers The Scots, Welsh and Irish are all clean No English, por favor No English, por favor What a great mood I'm in They have emptied my bin And it's almost like being in Hove There's a smile on my face Took that crap from my place And it's almost like being in Hove There's a thrill living here by the sea even if you're not in BN3 Except for the way that I feel About my council tax bill I could swear I was living I could swear I was living It's almost like being in home It's a wonderful start to the day when they haul all my garbage away Except for the rage that I feel About my council tax bill I would swear I was living I could swear I was living It's almost like me You're watching Fox News with me, Ann Anchor. With the world still in the grip of a pandemic, what are the chances of a vaccine? For more on this, let's go over to our reporter on the spot, Chad Valet. Can you hear me, Chad? Louder than the screams of Jelaine Maxwell, Ann. Where are you today, Chad? I'm in Oxford in Englandshire, Ann. Why are you there, Chad? Uh, well, Ann, Oxfordshire scientists are at the forefront of the war on COVID, as we on Fox News lie to call it. Did you say lie to call it? Oh, yes, I, I meant to say like, <laughs> but Mr. K on the audio cue, Ann. Lie, like, it's all the same to us here at Fox News. <laughs> anyway, we do love a good war here at Fox. So, what's this one about, Chad? Is it how pinko commie liberals want to take away our guns and God? No, Anne, it's a hacking war. Our beloved president's nipple buddy, Vladimir Putin, is believed to be behind a hacking attempt to steal the new vaccine from Oxfordshire scientists. Wow, did they get away with it, Chad? Yes, Anne, a statement from the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has just been issued from number 10 Drowning Street. What does it say, Chad? It says the UK Parliament's Security Committee are putting it down to an intelligence failure, Anne. Or as it's known over here, a Chris Grayling. You've been watching Fox News. I've been an anchor. Good night. Und now, ladies and genitals, it is time to join our German comedy counterparts, Wolfgang und Claudia, in the Treason Spieler Show. Hello, my British Bum and Chum and Schnitzels, and welcome to the Treason Spielen Show von Deutschland. Uber alles. <laughs> Schön. Okay, Wolfie, paddle mein pink news canoe. Okay, Claudi. Yeah, COVID smackdown news now, yeah. Mit 70 countries ending their quarantine spanking ruling, alles train journeys will now get taken over two weeks. <laughs> yeah, Wolfie. Yeah. Southern Rail are said to be jumping over the moon, and at last, a target they can actually hit. <laughs> Almost. Ja, ja, Jürgen Klinsmann. <lacht> Flappen Flugen News now, ja. Ein Company in Deutschland has gemaken ein Robot Seabirden on the Wingen Flugen. Seabirden on the Wingen Flugen? Ja, Claudi, ja, hier ist ein Foto. Sieg heil, Sieg heil. Oh. 
Michael Fassbender. <laughs> oh, now on the Treason Spiel Show, it's time for Wolfgang and Claudie's Was ist nicer and Was ist scheißer? Yeah, and what is nicer is the new COVID trend and fashion masken. Here is rock god Rod Dem Stewart with his rock gig underwear pendant. <coughs> and what is even nicer is my new COVID masken from none other than the Hoff. Wow, Wolfie, are you Gavarin what I'm thinking you are Gavarin? Yeah, yeah Claudie, <laughs> it's the sex and nicking of the half. <laughs> now I don't know if I should be coming or going. <laughs> Heidi Klum. Okay, Wolfie, it's gespitten time. <laughs> Auf wieder, meine kleine Wiener. Ja, und remember, if you are dumb cops shopping without a mask and seeing, kick him in the fist in Jaxi. Tschüss! <laughs>
and it's gone How on earth will we all carry on? Rishi Sunak, how you thrill me Uh huh, dishy rishi Dishy rishi, I think you feel me Uh huh, dish the money That Covid made me a bitch Don't let me down, not go tax the rich Cause we like it when you're not me You're a cash machine That's why you're dishy rishi Dishy rishi, let me feel it Uh huh, dishy rishi Keep being nice and don't conceal it Uh huh, dishy rishi You say that you've got our backs But there's loads of them through the cracks Get the rich to all pay their tax Then we all can see Do your richy rich thing